G'day and uh, welcome back to another pen review with the Eccentric Electrician. Um, I'll be continuing with the uh, reviews of slightly cheaper pens today in the more affordable range. Doesn't mean that they're cheap to use, they're just more affordable. Uh, today I'm looking at one that a few people have asked me about. It's the, um, uh, the Retro Tornado, um, I think it was the Lincoln, if I remember right. Um, quite a nice pen. It's got a nice sort of steampunky design. I bought this because it has sort of like the brass copper brushed finish. I quite like that. Um, on the end of the barrel here, it's just got a bit of a, like a blind cap. Um, on the other end, it's got a bit of a it's brushed metal, I think. Yeah, it's brushed metal, uh, like a white metal, like stainless or something. Then you've got your um, uh, gripped, it's like the grip diamond grip that you get, it's cut like that, then around here you've got a Tornado by Retro 1951, um, quite a nice, just a really basic sort of um, tag on there they've got, uh, your clip is um, quite tight but it still functions quite well as a clip, I like the way they've cut the little section out of the middle there, it um, just gives it a new sort of design. I also like the way that they've gone, um, they've changed the colour, so it's like copper up here and then goes down to a darker colour inside here. Looks like it's got pre-wear on it. Um, that's quite nice. Then you go down to your, your band here around the bottom of the cap and it's just a slightly lighter colour um, than the rest of the pen. Uh, you, it's a screw, so you unscrew it. You've got a plastic section to hold on to. The um, threads are sharp. But I've never really noticed them. I guess if you rub your finger against it, you'll feel them there. But just holding it, I haven't had any problems with them. Um, then you unscrew, and it's a uh, converter. Uh, this is quite a large converter. It's a standard international. Um, I quite like this converter. Does the job quite well. Um, holds a fair bit of ink, more than your standard uh, short standard international or most standard international converters. It uses a um, steel nib which says uh, Schmidt, so they use the Schmidt Iridium points. Um, there's a bit of decorative scroll work and the Schmidt logo on there. Um, basic uses a very basic feed, it's just a black plastic, same as you get on a lot of pens. Um, it's got an M, a calligraphy style M in the middle, denoting that this is the medium sized nib. Um, the only thing I don't really like about this pen is the threads where the cap goes on. It's, it's alright if you're careful, but if you screw it at all, it feels like you could cross thread it and damage the um, threads quite easily. Um, I don't know if this is a common fault among these pens, or whether mine was just say maybe not cut properly but um, the big reason I haven't used this pen a lot more is purely because of these threads and if I wasn't paying attention I'd be afraid of cross threading something or damaging something uh, aside from that this is a really nice looking pen it's a steampunk style with sort of like a copper colour or a brass um, it posts quite securely turns it into quite a large more end heavy pen when you cap it the cap is fairly uh, sorry when you post it the cap is fairly heavy um, which will sort of balance it out so depending on where you hold your pen and how big your hand is you may or may not want to post this pen um, even not posted it's quite a decent sized pen obviously that's posted there so it's quite a lot larger um, I quite like this pen um, but like I said, the only thing that I can really pick on is the threads. Um, the plastic for the grip section is sort of like a, a bit of a rough plastic so your fingers don't slip down it. If it was a shiny plastic, because it's not an hourglass figure, it just tapers direct down, your fingers would probably slip off, but they don't because the uh, plastic is sort of a little bit rough. Um, quite a nice pen, reasonable price. It's something that looks quite different. They went outside the standard cigar shapes and as it just tapers down and tapers to a lot finer point down here. I like the little bit of a um, grip section up here. 
um, quite a nice design pen and just out of the box it's not standard so um, we'll do a, I'll do a writing review and um, show you what it can do thanks for watching okay so this is a writing sample for the uh, retro uh, 51 or 1951 tornado Lincoln um, show you the nib I quite like this scroll work around the edges here uh, if I can get that in focus properly there we go there's the M to Schmidt nib quite nice design um, but yeah let's do a writing sample It's a Retro 51. Um, tornado. I think this was a Lincoln. Um, it's got a medium nib. And this ink is Pelican 4001 Brown. Bit of a writing sample. So it writes quite well. Um, bit of quick writing or scribbling. Oh, bump my camera. So it writes quite well. That little bit there was just me lifting off the page. Um, line variation. No, there's none to none to really be had. Um, it's quite a nice pen. It's fairly it's wettish. Oh, it's, actually, it's fairly wet nib. Um, I was just thinking actually with this nib. It's a Schmidt nib, so you could probably unscrew it and uh, change it out for another type. I haven't tried doing that yet. Let's have a look. Yep, there you go. So you could change that whole nib unit out if you really wanted to. ink everywhere because why not all right so there you go um, quite a nice nib to write with very smooth typical medium nib um, no issues with this one good flow good nib can't really go wrong with this one either Nothing special about the nib as with the other cheaper pens that I've been reviewing um, today. But, you know what, it looks nice, writes good. What else do you want in the price range? So, hope that helps and hope you enjoy.